Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to continue with the GCSE Design and Technology Practice Exam. We're on page 5, question 5, and this page is about metals. <clears throat> Excuse me. First question, explain what ferrous means and give an example. So, um, we need to describe ferrous. We can say the term... Harris uh, refers to uh, metals which contain iron. So basically any metal that contains iron is a ferrous metal. Um, an example of a metal is stainless steel. Okay, so uh, metals that contain iron are ferrous metals. An example of a ferrous metal is stainless steel. Two marks. It's quite simple. Explain what non-ferrous means. Well, obviously, if Ferrous contains iron, non-ferrous metals, as we can write here, non-ferrous non metals are metals, but we mustn't forget, or alloys of metals. which do not contain iron. An example would be brass. That's two marks. Now we've got our explanation, non-ferrous metals and metals or alloys which do not contain iron, and an example, brass. Um, next question, where does metal come from? This is three marks, so slightly more than those. We probably want a little bit more in there. Um, we could say uh, metals are refined from... metal ores uh, which are dug out um, of the ground I suppose we could have put uh, mined um, What can we say? The refining process turns the metals in. I'm oh, sorry, turns. I've, we need to say turns the ores into so a bit more complex there so the final answer is men uh, metals are refined from metal ores which are dug out of the ground mined the refining process turns the ores into metals um, I think that would get us three marks um, Next question, what are the properties and characteristics of stainless steel? Okay, so we've mentioned stainless steel up here, it's a ferrous metal, so we need to give the properties um, and characteristics. So we can say that stainless steel um, 
you see that stainless seal is corrosion resists tent now it's important to say that it's corrosion resistant it's actually not corrosion corrosion proof it will corrode under certain circumstances but it's very very resistant to corrosion um, it is very durable um, so durable means that it, it doesn't wear it lasts a long time in general use um, it is E, what can we say, easily um, formed into shapes and, and can be polish, polished for an Tiff. Um, trying to write a bit more clearly here. Stainless steel is a cro is corrosion resistant, comma. It can be very it is very durable. It is easily formed into shapes and can be polished for an attractive appearance. Got there in the end. Okay, so that is, I think that would give us the three marks. We've got one, two, three, we've probably got four, but certainly that would get us the three marks on stainless steel. And last of all, give two examples of when stainless steel is used in products. So what products is used as stainless steel? Well, obviously the first one that comes to mind would be kitchen uh, utensils. Um, kitchen sinks, so we can say sinks, uh, cookware, saucepans, things like that. That's three. Um, try and think of something outside the kitchen. Medical equipment, uh, scalpels, lots of things, all medical equipment. Um, one, two, three, there's four, and I needed three, because it said there's three marks there. So I've actually given four. So um, there we've got that. That was question five, um, and that was on metals. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.